Hey everybody, Comic Hunter here. Hope everybody's having a great week. Wanted to do a quick unboxing of a Taylor Winder mystery box. If you haven't checked him out, check him out. It's a pretty cool guy. He's on Instagram and YouTube a lot. He does a lot of unboxings himself. He does comic book reviews. Um, he's also an artist. He does shirts and things like that. He's done the local, the, the latest that Spider-Man booth box as well. So he's on that Spider-Man booth uh, live shows a lot, stuff like that. So comments on a lot of videos, does a number of YouTube things as, as well. Uh, cranky old men, stuff like that. This is his latest mystery box. Nicely packed. So there was a little damage to the outside of the box. I'm glad it did not go through. What came inside? Looks like we got a possibly a couple slabs here. I know he did guarantee at least one slab in this mystery box, as well as one piece of original art, which is pretty pretty neat. He took recommendations on what he would do as an art piece for you. So that is that's pretty neat to get one of his uh, original art pieces in, in these boxes. I'm guessing that these are the raws, so I'm going to open these first. Let's see what we got. Alright, I'm not sure if there was an order to this or not, but here we go. First up, oh, there's the art piece. So that's Phantom X. That was one of the, uh, he asked for three people. I, I said Spider-Man, Phantom X, and then um, Something is Killing the Children were my, my three picks. So that's that's pretty cool. And I'm guessing that nobody else picked Phantom X um, as one of their favorite characters to, uh, to get a sketch of. So I'm guessing that's pretty original. Uh, I don't agree, but yeah, there we go. So that's pretty neat. Next up, an Iron Man, number 64. Pretty pretty good condition um, for an old Iron Man. I don't know if that if there's any significance to that one. I'm sure there might be uh, Iron Man titles aren't you know on my some of the some of the keys aren't on the top of my radar, but I will try to include information um, on these comics uh, value and uh, any key information on them uh, in, a, in a link down or in a message. Next up, King in Black. Uh, number one for anybody who hasn't been reading this series, super good. Uh, the finale just came out, which I have not had a chance to read yet. Hoping to hopefully get to that today. Oh, by the horns. I'm actually, so I, I got both of these covers. Uh, I was thinking about actually picking up a second. Um, number one of this, so I'm, I'm glad that I got it in the mystery box. Uh, I did read this one. I thought it was pretty good. I'm interested to see what happens in the second issue. For anyone who doesn't know, it is about a lady who is trying to hunt down unicorns because she thinks that the unicorns killed her fiancé or, or boyfriend or something, but um, I don't think that's too much of a spoiler. I think that's what it gave in the synopsis, but it, yeah, I thought it was a pretty cool first issue. So Next up, oh, Kool-Aid Man! <laughs> Uh, Avengers of Kool-Aid Man number seven. Uh, comic and activity book. Uh, you don't see the old Kool-Aid Man jumping out too often. This is the one where he's riding the the pink dolphin. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty neat to get. Um, this actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. So that's kind of <laughs> kind of a unique odd odd comic to get. Okay. All right, next up, uh, Thor number one. Uh, the, you know, one of the disputed first appearances of Jane Foster Thor, so, you know, uh, there's that. A lot of people go with, uh, I think it's got a Thunder 55 or whatever the last issue is in that, where it's like the future, uh, like 2099 Thor, who, who is Jane Foster, but um, there's a lot of conspiracies about what her actual first appearances, cameo, and, and first full, but always a good book to have. All right, there's that J. Scott Campbell. 
uh, with a certificate of authenticity on the back there. Um, so this is limited to 4,000 issues. Um, that is a pretty cool, pretty cool Campbell Black Widow cover. Next up, All Strange Academy. So do you have a number of copies of this one? Next up, oh, Silk number one. I think that this is uh, all these uh, Silk number ones and um, Ghost Spiders are all, all, all have a lot of room to grow still. So it's nice to get that. What if Spider-Man? All right, so this is the one I think that um, what if, oh, what if Spider-Man had saved, saved Gwen Stacy? So it'll be interesting to see what the animated What If Marvel uh, TV show has. Um, but definitely some of these What Ifs are definitely going to um, jump in value depending on what how that series is as far as quality goes and also what stories they choose to tell. Next up, Shadow of the Bat. So some old DC Batman goodness. This one's got... Uh, medium condition definitely has some solid spine ticks, but uh, some good old 90s Batman action there. And last of the Raws is the second print of the old Amazing Spider Man 55. I also have a few copies of this. Um, that one might be the ones I have duplicates that will likely end up being listed on eBay or, or given away or something like that. But um, so it looks like I do have two Raws. So far, my favorite thing is probably the Phantom X original art, so um, it's pretty cool. Two slabs here, we'll see what we got. First stop, do this one, see if we can... Alright, so here's, well, uh, if it is, uh, 9-8. All right, do you see uh, the new Teen Titans number one? So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm sure that has some value to it. Um, yeah, so the new Teen Titans number one, very cool, 9-8. Um, two slabs in this one. I do not know the value on this one, like I said, but hopefully I'll, I'll include that below. So I figure that out, and the next slab up is this one. Right. So it looks like an older cover from the back. Oh, the Teen Titans set. So here's the uh, the older New Teen Titans um, number one, and that's an uh, 8.0. So that's pretty cool. I did hear that the uh, the Titans show on HBO, I think it's on HBO, I have not seen it yet, but I heard that that's really good, so thinking about checking that out. Um, anybody who hasn't started watching um, Invincibles or uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon, I'm not sure if that's the official title, but I think that both of those are really good, and the episode of Winter Soldier and Falcon that came out today uh, completely changes the landscape of things a little bit, so um, it definitely recommend that series and for anybody who doesn't know kind of invincibles it's not a light cartoon but it is it is pretty good it, it kind of goes a little bit in the same light as the boys not quite to that extent um but it, it they're both both pretty solid um tv shows so i think that uh comic shows on on tv and in, in, in tv series is is going really strong right now I do want to check out that Titans to see how good that is. I think that um, both of the the new T Titans um, books probably have a little room to grow, especially with the um, Teen Titans Academy or whatever whatever that new title is that has the first issue out. The first issue is pretty good. Some of these kind of younger uh, or the the books where the the people are in schools have, have turned out to be pretty solid. So hopefully um, DC can uh, keep that title strong. I mean, Strange Academy stayed strong. Children of the Atom, 
Beast was was kind of a mixed bag for the first issue. Had kind of an interesting ending that I think that will be the mystery that, that we'll be trying to solve throughout the next few issues. Anyway, I'm kind of getting off topic of this uh, mystery box, uh, but I thought it was really good. Um, I can't remember. What, I'll also put the price down below. I can't remember what I paid for it um, off the top of my head, but um, two really cool slabs, a number of really cool um, individual books, and then that, that art print, which was, which was super awesome for a Phantom X fan, even though he hasn't been in very many X-Men titles lately after the whole um, Xavier stealing his body and, and, and stuff like that. When it, for anybody who doesn't know, um, one of the cool things about Phantom X was, at least they've said so far, he was in, in the 616 universe. He's unique, so he's not supposed to be in any of the other multiverses, um, which I think was uh, something that was kind of cool and unique to Phantom X. But once again, I'm rambling, so um, hopefully everybody has a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Um, once again, Taylor Winter, I'll, I'll include all this information below, but hit him up if you're not already subbed or haven't already checked him out. Thanks for watching. Count Hunter out.